Hello, hello, hello to all my craftaholics and DIYers. Thank you for dropping in with me today. Today I wanted to share with you guys my refurbished dining room table that I am so proud of. I found this beauty in need of help at a local thrift store called Savers. I paid $75 for the table and all six chairs, which is such a bargain. The table is made of real wood and has beautiful detailing throughout. I love the shape and style of the set, but didn't really care for the color or fabric. After purchasing the table, I went literally right across the street to Lowe's and picked up all of the supplies to get started on my new project. And with some tender loving care, I was able to make this outdated, dingy table set look amazing. The new look is more modernized with a touch of French bedazzle, as I like to call it. This table set turned out more beautiful than I ever expected. Now, the way I went about painting this piece was a little bit unorthodox, so I thought I would share my process with you just in case you wanted to give this project a go. There are three products that I chose to use during this transformation of this dining room table. For my paint color, I chose to go with the Rust-Oleum's Painter's Touch was my number one choice. Now, like I said, this process was a little bit unorthodox, being that the Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch that I chose in silver is normally for metals, but I decided to go with it anyway because I really felt I would enjoy the outcome. You can get this from Lowe's or Home Depot. First, you want to make sure you prep your area, making sure that you're not going to get this paint on anything but the project you are painting. A little goes a long way. Get your prepping going and then move on to the next stage, which is sanding your piece. Sand your piece being that you're getting maybe a refurbished piece from a yard sale or thrift store like I did. Make sure that it is clean. We don't want to refurbish anything that is dirty. So I first took soapy bucket of water, just some water and Dawn soap, and I scrubbed the piece down. After that, I followed up with sanding it. And then again, I went over it with a damp towel to make sure that all of the sanding particles were gone. There is really no prime necessary with this paint which is why it's one of my favorites. You do need a good quality paintbrush and begin to layer on your first coat. Depending on the color of your piece that you're working on, sometimes only one coat is actually needed. Now don't be alarmed, this paint smell is ferocious and it does linger for quite a while. So please wear a mask if you are sensitive or make sure you have well ventilated areas you're working in. Once the first layer of paint has dried completely, I would say maybe five to six hours. Follow it up with your gloss to protect the surface. So make sure that you protect your new investment by covering it with a nice gloss finish. Once you have done this, you can go ahead and put your piece in its designated station and enjoy your new refurbished furniture. I wanna thank you all for joining me today. Please hit the subscribe button. Remember to always put your best craft foot forward. Always think outside the box and don't let your creativity be contained. Thank you for joining me, you guys.